Hey guys, Angela here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all of those things. If you are returning, thank you for coming back to spend another video with me. So it's Saturday, July 1st. I'm at home just chilling. Like we're literally chilling. Big tea, little short socks. Have a, even have a glass of midday wine right here. Um, so I thought that we'd do a what I bought in June video. So sort of like a collective haul. I thought I bought way more than I did. And now that I've gotten everything out, I'm like, whoo, mm, okay, maybe my credit card bill won't scare me as much as I thought it would. So since they're closest to me, we will start off with these sneakers here. I got these at the very top of the month. Um, in the net a -Port sale, they are Air Force Ones. I forget the exact name of them, but they are linked in my LTK. Everything you'll see here, except for the Zara item, um, is linked in my LTK because you know, Zara is there and they are not working with LTK. Anyway, so I bought this pair of Air Force Ones, one because I like them. Um, they're perfect for summer. They have a gummy sole, which I love a gummy sole. Um, and so I can wear them through to fall uh, without worrying about them getting like super dusty. Anyway, I am wearing these to the Beyonce concert. So I didn't wear them, buy them specifically for the Beyonce concert, but I may have bought them because I was also going to the Beyonce concert and they were perfect for the look that I sort of wanted to pull off, which was like sporty, sexy sporty. Um, they have these little stars engraved on the toe of the shoe. Um, and then there's like stars here where the shoe strings go through and then there's a star here on the top of the shoe So I thought they'd be perfect for uh, the summer months, but also to put together a look for Beyonce So I grabbed these for a little over a hundred dollars. I don't remember the price of any of this stuff But again, it's all linked in my LTK so you can click the link in the description to check them out. So got these from Net-A-Porte. Since I started with the sneakers that I am wearing to the Beyonce concert, I thought I'd go ahead and show you the pants that I am also wearing to the Beyonce concert, which I've worn before. And if you are new to my channel, you've seen them um, or you've seen them on my TikTok or whatever. Anyway, I've worn these already. These are a pair of Golden Goose track pants. I bought them because they had been on my wish list for a while, but they were like $350. And I was like, I don't know, I'm paying $350 for no track pants. So I was waiting on them to go on sale, which they did. I got them on Essence for, I think like 46% um, off. So I paid like 160 or something like that pre-tax. Anyway, I bought them because I just wanted them in general, but also I was like, these pants with those Air Force Ones to the Beyonce concert, perfect bottom base. So I wore these to an outside festival a couple weeks ago and I am wearing these to the Beyonce concert. Now these are an extra large, I'm a media, but they fit. I mean, they're big on the waist, but they don't fit like an extra large. So these are also linked. I think this color is sold out on Essence, which is where I got them for sale, but they still have them on Neiman's and Golden Goose website and Nordstrom. But I'm telling you right now, they full price on all of them. I don't know, Nordstrom is having a sale right now. So I would look on Nordstr Nordstrom and see if these are on sale. Um, I love these pants. I was so happy when I got them. Patience is a virtue when it comes to like um, designer stuff for me. Like I will put stuff on a wish list and wait it out. And I usually am able to get wish list items if I'm patient. Sometimes they sell out, not sometimes, a lot of the times they sell out. That just means it, means it wasn't meant for me to have it. These did not sell out and I got them and I wore them and I love them and I'm wearing them again to the Beyonce concert. So I have a couple more like clothing, hanging items. We'll do those first before we move on to the accessories that I got. So the first thing is this little Zara top. Uh, it's just like a spaghetti strap, like ruffle, girly, feminine top. It ties here and it ties here. Um, and I envision just wearing this with like big pants, like big culotte shorts, or I have like some cargo drop crotch shorts from um, R13 that I style, style them with and I thought was really cute. I put a white t-shirt in a styling video um, under this with like a satin skirt and some like slip-in mule heels and I thought that was cute. Just needed a feminine top. I don't have a lot of like cute little tops to just throw on when I want to go out or when I don't want to be in like a big t-shirt or something. And I really like this from Zara. It really gives me very like 90s vibes. 
um and i like a sexy see-through situation and so i grab that love it love it a lot so the last hanging thing or clothing item which really isn't clothing it's a bathing suit but it's another wish list item so i have i've had this on my wish list since last summer but it was 395 dollars and i am not giving stella mccartney 395 dollars for no bathing suit but i'm very much a one-piece girl and i like just like basic bathing suits like this high cut some sort of like design in the back so this has like a t strap in the back and then it's open and it's low cut so i just love super basic bathing suits like this so anyway it went on sale on essence and i grabbed it earlier this week and it came in just last night so i got this just in time for this video they only had a large left so i bought a large I haven't tried it on um so hopefully it fits if it doesn't we gonna make it work um, but I love this. It just says Stella McCartney established 2001 and it has like the um, address of the store in London on Bond Street. And I don't know when this like affinity for like designer bathing suits happened, but I love a good, you know, graphic like designer bathing suit. Anyway, I think it's cute. I love it. It was $3.95. I got it for I think maybe like $1.30. I don't know. I don't know the price this isn't actually listed my ltk because i bought the last one off of essence and um i'll try to find some more and link them below if i can if you're interested but anyway got this bathing suit another win for my wish list the last two physical items that i have here with me are accessories we'll start off with this stella mccartney bag i picked this up from a sample sale it's, it was like a designer sample sale um, here in Chicago, I went to check it out. Um, they had a really big Stella McCartney section, um, some great clothes, but I really wasn't in the um, in the market for any new clothing at the moment. But um, I did run across this Stella McCartney flap bag in like the smaller size, and I had this on my wish list before, but in black, right? Uh, but they didn't have a black one, and two, I have learned that this like brown like chestnut color is like my color as it relates to bag it's the same color as my acne masubi i have a chloe bag that this color that's this color and i find that i gravitate towards like this brown this type of brown here more than i do my black bag so with shoes i'm like a black shoe girl like if you look at my shoe closet all of my shoes outside of my sneakers are black with bags this is my black i love this color i love the gold hardware um and i needed a smaller um, bag in this color to carry because my acne masubi is quite big so when i saw this i grabbed it and this bag is originally like 890 dollars or something like that and it was on sale uh, for 70 percent off so i grabbed it just showing you the inside it's just one pocket and then like a little card pocket here and then it just has some branding on the front of it. Um, it just says Stella McCartney. And I thought it was super cute. This is very much my style of bag. You'll probably never see me with something like a Chanel flap bag or, you know, anything like that. Um, it'll probably always be like a designer bag such as this or the Acne Masubi uh, or the Chloe Mini Marcy. So yeah, grabbed this Stella McCartney bag from a sample sale. Got a good deal on that. And then um, I bought this pair of Prada Sunnies. This is a, my first pair of designer Sunnies in years. I'm very anti designer Sunnies and eyeglasses. If you didn't know, I wear um, eyeglasses. Well, I have on contacts now. Um, I switched over years ago to the Warby Parkers of the world just because I am very careless when it comes to eyeglasses and sunglasses and things like that. And I just got tired of spending, these were $517 before tax spending that much money on eyeglasses and sunglasses and then losing them, breaking them, them being stolen. Somebody stole a pair of sunglasses out of my purse at a bar. I left it open and I turned my head and I turned back around and the sunglasses were gone that quick, right? So I have been very anti buying designer um, sunglasses and eyeglasses retail. Like I may go in like Nordstrom Rack and pick up like a designer pair, but never am I paying $517 pre-tax for a pair of sunglasses until now. Um, I have loved like the uh, Prada, like logo glasses 
forever. I originally wanted the ones that have like the oval shape uh, to them, the ones that everybody have, but I went into um, Nordstrom and I was just playing around um, with the sunglasses and I saw this one and it's more of a square shape with like a cat eye. My hair is wet, so I'm not going to uh, put them on. Um, but this is more of like an oh like a square shape with like a minimal cat eye But it still has that symbol Prada symbol sunglasses. That's what they're called But it still has that little Prada symbol there on the side And then it also has Prada light etched in the front here and I just thought they were super sleek They look so good on my face um, I'm not a huge frame person. I prefer like a smaller frame. So even though these are quite bigger than say um, my everyday like Ray-Bans or Specs that I wear, um, they're still not like huge. So I really liked the shape and the size of these as well. And I'm also a blackout like shade person. I love for my lenses to be super blacked out. So when I saw these, I was like, I have to have them. I have to have these and it's time. I'll go ahead and invest in a pair. Um, I talked a little bit on my Instagram about how I've realized that I don't only wear sunglasses because they complete a look for me, which they do. Um, I typically throw on a pair of sunglasses whether they're sun out or not because I just love the way that they pull together a look. Um, but I'm blind, baby. And the sun, whether it's high or whether it's cloudy like it is today, my eyes need protection. And so I'm like, you know, I'm usually in sunglasses. I think I can go ahead and, and splurge on a pair. I've had my everyday Les Specs and my everyday Ray-Bans for a couple years now and I've been doing really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and let myself splurge on a designer pair. This will not become a habit. I will not be spending $517 on a pair of sunglasses all willy nilly like that. But these, I really wanted them so I thought I could treat myself. So I picked them up. So the last few items on the list, I don't have them with me, but I'm going to share them with you anyway. We'll start off with this Jacquemus, uh, like ribbed cropped top that I purchased to complete my outfit for the Beyonce concert. So I'm going to do the Air Force Ones I showed you with the Golden Goose track pants. And I wanted to have like a super cropped uh, top to go with it to be like sporty sexy. Um, and so I picked up this Jacquemus top off of the Outnet. So when I thought, where can I get a super sexy, cute crop top that I can wear to the concert, but maybe also take it um, on a trip that I have coming up in October? We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and I immediately thought about Jacquemus. And then I was like, let me just see, you know, what Google is saying about what Jacquemus has available on sale. And then I saw this top on the Outnet and I was like, that is perfect. It's the perfect color. It's the perfect crop. It's the perfect style for the look that I want to pull off because I'm thinking I may also um, throw a baseball cap on. Y'all know I love a baseball cap. I'm thinking maybe I'll get like a Fear of God fitted or something like that to throw on um, with the look and maybe wear my clip-ins and have that hang out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll talk about that another time. But I did grab this Jacquemus top from the Outnet, I think after tax it was like $90 and some change after tax tax and shipping uh, so it is in my LTK if you're interested you can go um, there and snag it uh, so that was one other thing that I ordered I just ordered that on yesterday so obviously it wasn't gonna get here um, in time for the video speaking of a trip in October I am going to Tulum for my friend's 40th birthday so at the top of the month I had to buy the plane ticket for that so it was a little over $600. I'm flying Southwest because I know me. I am going to have a carry-on. And so I don't want to pay for bags. It's not a super long flight, uh, and so I'll be fine. Anyway, I spent a little over $600 for that. So we purchased that this month. I'm really excited about going to Tulum in October. I haven't done a lot of traveling this year. I had you know some personal issues in March that sort of halted. Um, I wanted to go to Europe for the first time this year. Uh, and I was supposed to go to Amsterdam in April, uh, which is Europe. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I mean. I was going to Amsterdam in April and then I was going to do um, the, uh, you know, quintessential London Paris trip um, in this summer. But, you know, something happened in March that stopped all of that. So Tulum is going to be my first like trip of the year. I did go to New Orleans at the beginning of the year. I rung in New Year's in New Orleans. And then I turned around and went to Miami with my friends for a friend's birthday. And then I went to New York, you know, to visit a friend. Um, and so 
I've been on trips, but like, I mean, like a vacation, like trip, trip, I haven't been on this year. So I'm really excited about that. So I went ahead and bought that ticket uh, to get that out of the way. And then lastly, I bought um, some homeware stuff. So I'm back in my like home decor bag. I've re-signed a lease. It starts back over, I think this month, next month, July. Um, and so I'm like, you're gonna spend another year in this place. There are a couple more things that I wanted to do to finish it off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, and with that, I bought, um, Solange is coming out with like home decor items. She started off with uh, glassware. So she's done two launches so far. I missed the first launch, I was so mad. But on Friday, yesterday, she released a second set of the glassware and I was able to grab a couple styles from um, that collection, the two styles that I actually wanted. I bought two of each. I'll put them on the screen here. I just thought they were super cute. I love them. They're gonna be more like decor um, as opposed to people actually drinking out of them. I'm going to buy a shelf to go in my kitchen area and I'm going to start investing in like glassware and dinner plates and stuff like that. I really love stuff like that and I haven't really been able to buy a lot of it because I haven't really had the space. So I am going to buy shelving as like dedicated space for that. So I figured I'd go ahead and buy my first few pieces to like start decorating the shelving when it comes in or when I finally buy it. So I bought decorations before I've actually bought the shelf. I found one that I really like on Amazon. I'm actually waiting on Prime Day to see if it goes on sale. It's not that expensive, but if I can get it for cheaper, then why not wait? So I'll probably look next week when Prime Day starts um, to go ahead and grab something, some shelving for the kitchen area to start putting my little trinkets. One of my goals is to stop spending so much money on clothing and accessories and things like that and start, like I want like something that I collect. Like I love watching home decor like videos on YouTube specifically for whatever reason, I'm really into like English countryside homes and they always have like these collections of little like tchotchkes or like interesting collections of things. And so I want interesting collections of things outside of like my art, which, you know, I want to buy more of that, but like glass, it's always like glassware or like plates or like little tchotchkes that they have like these like very interesting collections that they can talk about forever. And so I want that. So I'm going to start investing more into little stuff like that and then just incorporating them into these types of hauls. So anyway, that's it. That's all I've purchased for the month of June. I really did think I did way more damage than this and I did not. I got a few big ticket items, so maybe that's what it what it is. Um, but for the most part, I did pretty okay. Uh, so anyway, that concludes the video. If you like this style of video, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you pick up anything that you've seen in the video. Let's talk about it um, in the comments. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.